Hi fam, welcome to my new YouTube home. What, how exciting is this? I love it. And it's all because of you, so thank you. I've just been having so much fun on live and you have all been flooding me with such incredible, thoughtful, interesting questions that I thought this might actually be a better forum for all we have to talk about. Um, so here we are and thank you and please do keep all the questions coming. You can actually hear now, comment below, but also find me on Instagram as usual, DM me or text me as many of you have. But we're gonna run it pretty much the same way as we always were and with plenty of shout outs. So yeah, gosh, this week has been a bit insane. We, I actually had a photo shoot which I haven't done for a bit, for a moment, and I for sure haven't done it to the point where I'm actually the model. I'm used to producing and art directing and directing and being the stylist and the makeup artist and all of these things. But then when you add in model, it becomes insane. And model, I'm using that term clearly, very loosely. But we're, I'm amping up my lauradell.com page and or website. And so we wanted some fresh new looks. So it was really fun, but hectic. And of course the boys were crazy, but yeah, I mean, we did some fun things like we did some fun fashion stuff on cool walls. Of course we had to do fitness things, which is so fun. This is actually in front of Equinox, my favorite club, my second home, my happy place. Um, and then yeah, there's just another outtake. <laughs> I don't know if I'm trying to eat you or if I'm just like so excited. You know, my new mantra is live lit up and I would say that pretty much says it. So there you go, it was really fun and it gave me the chance to go through my closet style all of these pieces that I hadn't seen in forever, and in doing so, minimalize and get rid of things. You might have seen a couple of my posts or stories about the piles of clothing that I'm now getting to donate, and it feels so amazing to be giving it to people who will truly love it, who need it, who are finding themselves in a hard spot right now. Um, so, it is, from a donation perspective, it's sort of difficult actually to find charities and houses and places that will actually take things because of, of course, COVID-19. I finally, I did, I found a great place, Upward Bound House here in Los Angeles. They take both kids and adult clothing. And so that's where all my goodies are gonna go. And I'm just channeling Marie Kondo, thank you, because it does, I mean, instead of, opening your closet and feeling overwhelmed and having more things to fold and more things to hang and more things to just look past. It is, life is so much clearer and lighter and more exciting and so much easier to style. So it's been an incredible thing for me and I hope that you'll take my lead possibly and do the same thing, especially with spring coming. But if you were following me on Instagram, you probably also knew that these were in the back of my closet Brand new Havaianas, technically US size 7.8 or 3940. Um, and I just think these should go to someone out there, one of you guys. Everything else is gonna be donated, but these are one of yours. So I already have gotten a bunch of DMs and some texts. So if these need to be in your house, in your wardrobe, and you're gonna show them the love that they deserve, and not throw them in the back of your closet like they ended up for me, then please, please, please comment below and let me know where to send them. I've actually gotten some really fun texts from people actually in Brazil who of course know this brand. They're from Brazil if you don't know that. Um, and of course, they're amazing. Oh, also you have to just see they're these really fun little rhinestones right there. So yeah, they're good, they're simple, they're everyday. There's a hair. And yeah, let me know if, if they're coming to you. What else happened this week on Instagram or in life? Well, I was getting, I was channeling now my inner chef. And this week I posted about this egg bite waffle recipe, which I will share on Insta. But also if you want to subscribe on my website, um, I'll, this will be a, it's a free download and such. But Man, I just, we had our mini waffle maker out and many of you probably know that I'm 
moving into the ketotarian lifestyle along with intermittent fasting, which is feeling amazing. And I keep saying it, but that is for a whole other time. So we'll get into that at some point here in detail. But I thought, well, why don't I try making an egg bite? And I bet the kids would like that. So I did, I whipped this thing up and it was delicious. And here's actually, here's proof of my two and a half, well, almost three year old, eating it. And that is a true happy smile. <laughs> So yeah, it's amazing. I hope that you'll try it super easy. It takes five minutes, delicious, sustainable, um, made me feel full for a while. And there you go. That happened. That was exciting. And just because I am clearly having so much fun showing you pictures of my kids who I love, but here's my new lacrosse player. He's nine years old and I'm bringing him up because well, first of all, look, he's just starting now to accessorize. So I'm a proud mama there. <laughs> it's in his jeans, I guess. But while he was practicing with his dad, he got slashed on the arm and in, it was in so much pain. You know, there were actually tears and there are never tears with this one. So it just made me realize I have this huge toolbox of remedies and all the homeopathic and naturopathic things and it makes me remember that whenever i'm feeling well i can't for the anything think about what i need to help myself but of course if one of my loved ones or a friend has some issue i come right up with it so i just wanted to share that if you ever forget guys magnesium on your skin so easily absorbable doesn't upset your GI tract, it's amazing. It helps with muscles, it helps with soreness, it helps with inflammation, all of the things, right? So this is Ancient Minerals. So we rubbed that all over his arm and of course, Arnica. As Hunter was joking with me, this is something that I actually used when I gave birth both times, um, both internally, but also, but this topical stuff is amazing for any kind of pain or swelling or sores. So the combination of these two goodies got him back on the field the next day. So just another thing for maybe your toolbox. Also, I get to show one more picture because a couple weeks ago I shared with you um, some leggings that my stepdad gave me that were for St. Patrick's Day. And people loved them and I love them and they're so soft and amazing. So I had to show you this pair for Easter that came this week. How cute are they? They're just so happy. Um, and I haven't tried them on yet, but this one has. I walked into my room and there he is wearing the leggings goofball. Um, so yeah, these are also from VA Stitch. And I'm sure, well, I'm not sure, but I would think that if you went on soon, you could get yours in time for Easter as well. And then we could be twinsies. <laughs> and I know they have other styles also for all these different holidays. So that's another fun thing that happened this week. So many of you ask about different wellness things and you probably know that I've been pretty obsessed with trying to live a youthful, energetic, long life filled with plenty of good years and a functional life, one where I can do whatever I wanna do. I don't have to say no because of physical inability um, and I can get up and off of the floor with my kids and I can play lacrosse in the backyard with them and still do all of my other fun stuff that I love to do. So wellness is obviously something that's dear to my heart and I research it deeply. So if I can help, you know, share any of my knowledge there, I am more than happy to do so. If everyone is feeling better, then this world is gonna be better. So there you go. So on that note, the book that I ended up getting this week is Lifespan um, by David A. Sinclair, PhD. And I'll just read to you, what would you do with 20 extra good years? With 50? With more? It's a seemingly undeniable truth that aging is inevitable, but what if everything we've been taught to believe about aging is wrong? As Dr. Sinclair, acclaimed Harvard Medical School scientist and one of Time's 100 most influential people, we should listen to him, 
um, writes in his groundbreaking book, aging is a disease and that disease is treatable. Sign me up. So here we are, I, I'll share as I'm getting through this, but um, I'm excited about that. Yes, let's live longer and feel great the whole time, shall we? And if you wanna read it with me, please follow along. Let's have a chat about it at the end. Um, I'd love to know your takeaways. All right, another thing that from my wellness toolbox came just yesterday, blue spirulina powder. It's an antioxidant, it helps with gut, with gut health, it improves memory and increased energy, and it's just gorgeous. Blue Magique, as you may know, is literally the color of this. I, if I took it out right now, it would get all over my white shag carpet and that would be a bad thing. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you, but I mixed it into the boys' Faye Greek yogurt this morning and they had the most fun swirling it around and making their yogurt bright blue and exciting and they just devoured it, loved it. So something that I think people should just have around their house. You can mix it into drinks, into yogurts, into oatmeal. You can put it into cakes just to make a beautiful natural blue super food, super power color. So there you go, there's another wellness tip. Um, guys, oh my gosh. And something else exciting came this week. See, this has been a big week. I, I'm like out of breath just talking to you about it. I'm so excited to share. But from Ilia Beauty this week, I got this. So this is exciting. Um, this is their Super Serum Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Sunscreen. Um, if anyone spent any quality time with me, they know that as a woman of a certain age, sun protection is key in my beauty routine, in my health routine, in my wellness, in my well-being routine, in all of it. So I typically have a pretty large hat on and it's comical. Um, but so always looking for a great all natural sunscreen um, that isn't gonna make my face all white and kicked on and look like a crazy mime doing my thing. Although, I love, Marcel Marceau is amazing. And if I saw him on the streets of Paris, I wouldn't mind <laughs> getting on board with that. But yeah, so I'm super excited. I haven't tried it yet, but I will of course share as I do. And the other thing that came is Color Haze Multi-Use Pigment for cheeks and lips. And it's jojoba and linseed oil. Um, so that, sorry guys, I don't think the focus is working as well as I wish it would, but there you go, maybe. So yeah, so Ilya, natural brand, good for the body, good for the skin, hopefully will help me radiate even more energy, that would be amazing, and I'll share with you how that goes. Okay, so, shall we get on to some Q and A's? I love it, there have been, again, so many, let me just get into my text here quickly. And let's do this. Sorry guys, okay. Oh, look at that, okay. Sia just texted, just saying, thank you. Um, how's everything? My name is Sia, I loved watching your live the other day and you're so sweet. Well, Sia, love back at you, Mwah! For you to even watch, I'm honored, so thank you for that. And I'm certain you're sweet as well. <laughs> Okay, Q and A's, here we go. So this, unfortunately, you did not tell me your name, but I love this question. Hey, Laura, I would just like to know how you stay motivated to, stay, to exercise and stay healthy. Well, oh, I could go into this again for so long, it could be a full episode, but number one, the way I stay motivated is I feel amazing. <laughs> I have the energy I want, my body moves the way I want, I don't miss out on life, all of the things that I already talked about with longevity and, and my lifespan book, right? Um, but I'm also first to admit that it's not, I understand it's not easy to get into a routine. Um, it's crazy for someone who's a fitness fanatic like I am, who would be there six days a week, maybe even seven if I could for hours at a time. If I go on vacation or I get away from it for just a couple weeks, even I have a hard time going back. So that tells me a lot. So if you're one of those people who's just kind of starting out on your fitness journey, all I can say is consistency is key. Show up, show up every day, 
Show up every day. It can be for five minutes, maybe it's 30 minutes. Just show up. And then for me, my perspective on life is generally, if I'm showing up, I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna go the hardest I can go. I'm gonna really work myself so that I can grow because unless we're challenging ourselves, we're not growing, right? And so then really, what's the point? So yeah, I mean, my motivation again is feeling amazing, being able to lead the life that I want to lead and hopefully make it a really long, a really long life. But motivation, I just, you know, when you, when you show up consistently, all of a sudden, you do, you start seeing changes in your body. It should no, I don't believe that you should ever start a fitness routine thinking that you're doing this for vanity's sake. Because guess what? If you're doing it right, it's probably gonna take you a while before you really see results, but they come. It's amazing. All of a sudden they'll come. Even I, so I'm still breastfeeding, a big story, but my son is almost three. <laughs> my first son breastfed till he was four. So we're that family or I'm that mom. Um, but he's, he's, my three-year-old is showing no interest in quitting, but you know, I'm holding on to a little extra fat and that's a good thing. That's because my body doesn't want my baby to die <laughs> through evolution, right? My body was taught to believe that if you're, if, if you're lactating and if you're feeding a baby, you better hold on to some extra fat so that you can feed your baby if more food isn't available. So. I know all of that, but guess what? That's not stopping me from showing up every day because after I show up, I feel amazing. I feel like this, I feel like this amplified. Um, and yeah, and honestly, you start to love the feeling of being sore. It is this unique, amazing feeling where you rub all of your ancient minerals on your body and you're foam rolling and you're massaging and you just know that that soreness means that you're growing again, again, why are we here on this planet in these bodies? We're here to evolve, to learn, to grow, to become our better selves. And so, yes, that's all of my motivation, but my tips, stay on it. Don't look at a, don't look at a, don't stand on a scale rather, do not stand on a scale, but maybe measure. If you're one of those people who really don't wanna feel engaged, your progress from the inside out, then measure. What, what part of your body do you think you really want to change and measure that part? And just measure it every few weeks and see what you're doing. But again, if I really please can encourage you to just go within, think about how you're feeling afterwards and you will not quit. So, sorry, I realized that was a long answer to that and I could say more, but thank you, thank you for that question. Um, and keep them coming. Good luck on your journey. I, I'm certain it's going to be an amazing you're one. Bethany, someone named Bethany, and I'm not sure where you're from. Um, you asked, sorry, wondering about some of the discoveries I found in my intermittent fasting journey. She's heard a lot, I've heard a lot of people talk about the benefits, but I haven't researched too heavily in it as of yet. So, again, another whole episode, but do you hear my mind right now? <laughs> Can you feel this crazy stuff coming at you? That, I'm attributing so much of that to intermittent fasting, I can't explain. So, my oldest son is nine years old, and I have truly felt like my mind was living in this gray, mushy blah, world up until the time I truly started to be serious about intermittent fasting, which is maybe three months ago. And then all of a sudden, I felt everything start to click and my synapses start to come on fire. And holy heck, it's amazing. I have endless energy. I definitely do drink plenty of coffee. In fact, there's some here. I might have a sip. Ketotarian style, but um, yeah, this has some some coconut cream, heavy, heavy coconut cream in it. So yeah, I'm getting all my good healthy fats with my caffeine. Probably explains a lot, but intermittent fasting, guys, I just, you know, you, because your, your body's always trying to survive, I think so many people's first instinct is, I'm going to be starving. I can't do that, it's insane. 
the reality is it's not true, at least for my body. Everyone is entirely different, but intermittent fasting, there's so many ways. It's such a flexible way to live and to eat and to grow. And so you pick what's right for you, right? I mean, if you wanna fast for 12 hours and let's say you're sleeping eight of those hours, you're only talking about four additional hours. You quit eating at 8 p.m. and then you start again at 8 a.m. I think almost any human being, if you don't have some other underlying medical issues, obviously, I think we should all be able to handle that. And it just, you know, the science, and it just all makes sense to me because our ancestors, when we didn't have food all the time. We couldn't just go through a drive-thru and order some disgusting fake food um, through our window and chow it down. We weren't opening bags of chips or nuts or whatever. No, even if you're eating as cleanly as you possibly can, as close to the earth as you can, our ancestor did not have the amount of food and the availability that we have it now as we do. So it just makes sense that your bodies are used to and were built to be able to sustain without calories, consistent calories. And you know, again, if you talk about your insulin levels going up and down and your body is working so hard for you all the time, right? I mean, if you get your arm whacked in a lacrosse game or if you twist your ankle doing a cartwheel, whatever this is, if you're, if you're fending off COVID or the seasonal flu, your body is always working to recover and, and to grow and to heal itself. So why continually make it digest food also, right? Think about if you're giving your body 12, 16, 17, 24 hours of time where it doesn't have to do anything with calories, where your liver and your pancreas are just chilling and you're able to actually detoxify and focus on all of these other things and autophagy and all of these things that we can go into again in so much more detail. And there's so much information out there online, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I think I will do this because even my mom has been asking, but I'm gonna try to distill it into a little curated format for everyone so that it's a little bit easier maybe to grasp onto and at least try. So that is again, a really long question, answer to this amazing question, Bethany, but um, thank you for that. And I hope it kind of helped. Again, any questions, send them my way or comment below. Okay, and here's one more I know. You guys probably have a place to go. You have a life to lead, right? <laughs> I'm sure there are plenty of things to do. So let's do this, I, because I love it. And again, I'm sorry you didn't give me your name, but you say, hi, Laura. At times when you're stressed, what calms you? Wow, well, I hear my husband coming up the stairs, and I wonder if he would actually <laughs> admit that I am a fairly calm person because I am pretty wild, wired. Um, hi, Laura, at times when you're stressed, what calms you? Well, I just answered her very quickly, deep breathing. And I don't just mean, okay, I'm stressed, I gotta breathe. I mean, being present for the entirety of three and there's a reason for this. I, I dare you to try this with me right now, but for some reason, after the third full breath, complete inhale, complete exhale, the whole world feels like a better place. So that's my number one trick. I will do it while I'm in traffic. I will do it standing in the middle of my kitchen when my boys are fighting with each other. I will do it when I'm in a crazy workout for that matter, in between sets, I try to use this technique all the time and it's such a simple one. It's something you always have at your fingertips or rather you always have in your lungs, right? But the key is to be present. So this is what one full breath would look like. If you wanna join me, please do. And since I just gave the invitation, let's just go for all three and you tell me if it actually feels better. Okay, ready? Ah, that was my my first fake one. Here we go. Wow. 
I don't know if you had the guess to close your eyes and do that with me or not, but I truly, I feel different. I feel present, I feel calm, my body is oxygenated, um, I feel happy, I feel joyful, all of those things. So that is my number one tip to staying calm is breathing intentionally. So that was it. I know we covered so much and I hope I didn't just throw things at you. Um, and I and of course my wish is that there's some great takeaways for you that will help you live a brighter life, to live lit up. Isn't that amazing? That's my new mantra to everything. And it just, you know, life is a party. We should live it up, but let's live lit up and share the love, share the light with each other and with ourselves, remembering the self-care and doing all that we need to do for ourselves to be the best version of ourselves. So there that is. I just wanna kind of leave you with one question and please comment below, find me on Instagram, text me, however you wanna to get to me. I'm so curious what your answer is because I'm always trying to challenge myself. And the thought is, a year from now, you may wish you had started today. What is that for you? What would your future self be proud of and grateful for that you started today? Is that fitness? Is that eating better? Is that focusing more on your job? Is that being more present with your kids? What is that? Is that taking three deep breaths when you need to? What is that for you? I'm gonna think about that myself too. There are plenty of things out there. I'm sure I'll have a long list. I like lists. Um, but yeah, I hope that that makes you think a little bit more too. All right guys. So. Thank you again. I'm so grateful for your presence here with me, for sharing your precious time. That's one thing we can't get more of, so thank you. Now go out there, spread your love, and live lit up. See you next time. Hi fam! Welcome to my new Insta- Ah, this is YouTube. Thank you.